were two uniquely human emotions, which were awe and dread. But being human means trying your best and trying to understand yourself and doing what you love and reaching for what is beautiful to you. And when we focus on others, instead of looking at them as different people who we do not understand, we should put our lack of understanding onto them as an understanding. Some of the literature choices I chose, like the Poisonwood Bible, Lord of the Flies, uh, they encompass a lot of the human emotions and traits, good and bad, that go on in us. So from that, we can see that, yeah, love is powerful. It can set us apart from other species. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Most humans can hear this music and create their own story. Their own creativity fills in the blanks in their minds and helps them grasp a fuller picture of life. I think that we really have the ability to improve our own lives and improve our society as a whole if we look to nature. I think the fact that we are able to create something that represents what we feel instead of what reality actually hands us is a huge aspect of human idealism. When I was thinking about what it means to be human, I was thinking how it means that everybody is different in their own way. That there are so many standards in life, but it's just being human is breaking them and going outside of the stream. I first came across the Japanese concept of wabi-sabi while looking for artistic inspiration online. Now, I love horror, so I was thrilled to find this one. Despite generational and age differences, each of their answers include something about loving each other, being with people, loving the earth, etc. Intelligence, curiosity, and creativity all very important deciding factors, but is that all it takes to be human? Consciousness surfaces as an awakening that is built up towards a succession of events or a single moment that can trigger a repressed notion or an emotion that you never even knew you could feel. Humans like to think we're in control of a situation, which kind of stems from how we were raised. Everyone has their passion, so I decided to try to represent two of my friends' passions the colors I used on their faces and the strokes I used. It's human to not want to show vulnerability. You know, people want to be perceived as strong, especially around those that they don't know. would be I speak the volume. Which, like, U is I, Ishadyaz is present, and Ishasha is the language. Yeah. I found a gene, NBPF15, that codes a protein domain that is believed to separate us from other apes. It's, it's like crucial in the development of human consciousness. But to me, it's about being raw and genuine, just in the moment. It, it's brief and it's so fragile. And it's beautiful just all at the same time. So. Give me 